you have just heard the ringing of the first bell ever cast in Alaska. In fact, we have reason to believe that it is the first bell ever cast on the west coast of America, all the way from Panama to Kodiak. This bell was hand cast in Kodiak in 1795. It was cast at least 15 years before bells were cast in Sitka to ship to the Spanish missions in California along the El Camino Real. When Alexander Baranoff arrived on Kodiak Island in 1791 to be the general manager of the Shelikoff interests in Alaska, he found many problems that needed solution. If the Russian colony were to succeed, the Orthodox Church must be called in to establish schools, churches, and bring Christian character to the community. So one of his earliest requests to his employer, Shelikoff, was for priests and monks to be sent from Siberia. And after a long wait of several years, the clerics arrived. The priest had been promised by Shelikov that a church, comfortable lodgings, and supplies for three years would be awaiting them in Kodiak. Shelikov had lied to them. Nothing awaited them, and no material and supplies were en route. Most of the Russians had taken Aleut women as common law wives, and these native women were wonderful providers and excellent mothers. But the priests could not tolerate this situation. They bore down hard on Baranov himself. Didn't Baranov have a lawful wife somewhere in Russia? Wasn't it true that Baranov had accepted the young daughter of chief storyteller as his common law wife here in Alaska? How could Christianity, church doctrine, and morality be taught without an appropriate church in the village? How could a church be important without bells to ring? Now, just what kind of a deal Baranov made with Archimandrite Joseph is not known. But things did happen in 1795. A church at least 11 feet wide by 28 feet long was built in 1795. And the molds for church bells were crudely made and bells were hand cast. And at the dedication to quote existing records, the bells rang forth joyously. Baranoff gave 1,500 rubles for the support of the church, and that was a fortune in those days. Soon thereafter, an order was issued that all Russians should marry their Aleut wives. All children were enrolled in the church and thus became legal, and all the Aleuts were declared to be Christians. How many bells were hand cast in 1795? We do not know. The church had three fires in 172 years, and the other bells were probably completely destroyed. But the bell we have here today was broken in half in the last fire. And using this broken bell as a model, three bells have been cast in identical size and metallic content to the original. And these three bells are used in that magnificent Kodiak production of the Cry of the Wild Ram. And when not in use in the August performance of the pageant, the bells are returned to the church in Kodiak and they ring forth joyously for weddings and special occasions. Here again is the sound of the first bell cast in Kodiak in 1795. 